Confrontational. I, I really believe the single most confrontational statements that Jesus made to the Pharisees and others who followed them, and the words that had to fuel their hatred of him, were these. In Matthew 22, Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. It's Matthew 22. What did I say? 22. Uh, suitable help. Me. Matthew 22. No. <laughs> Nick, we need to read Matthew 22. Matthew 23. Verses 29 to 31. Ta-da! Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! You testify against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. And more, more powerfully even, there when, you know, he's in the temple area teaching, and Jesus is talking to the Pharisees and to the other Jews around him. And they want to debate with him. But what Jesus says in John 8, 44 is this. You are of your father, the devil, and you want to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there's no truth in him. Whenever he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own nature, for he is a liar and the father of lies. I mean, here, these are the people that prided themselves on, you know, we're sons of Abraham. God is our father. Jesus said, no, your, your, your father is the devil. The religious leaders are the people of God. That's who he's talking to. And Jesus says they are not children of God. They're not children of God. They're not the wheat. They're the tares that had been planted by their father, the enemy. Matthew, look at the, go look at the parable in Matthew 13, verse 24 to 80. 24 to 30. Pray for me out there. So the question becomes, are you a child of God? Because if you're not a child of God, you can't pray our Father. You can't pray to the Father, right? What makes you a child of God? I'm going to give you six things we're going to just talk about a little bit. And you, you can look at more. And by the way, feel free to write to us at office at BibleTalk.com or go to our Facebook page, In Search of Christianity. Here are the six things that I put. Are you a child of God? You have to be born again. You have to be led by the Holy Spirit. You have to be a peacemaker. You have to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. You know you're a child of God because he disciplines you. And you know you're a child of God because Herod's still trying to kill you. When those things are true, then you will understand his love for us all the more. You have to be born again, okay? I'm going to read from John chapter 3, first, the first three verses. Now, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. I'm sure you know this. He was a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you have come from God as a teacher, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. And Jesus answered and said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You have to be born again. He went on to tell Nicodemus in you know, the next couple of verses. He said, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I say to you, you must be born again. Flesh is not going to go into the kingdom. No. Flesh cannot inherit the kingdom. The spirit can. But it says in Hebrews 12, 9, God is the father of spirits. See how great a love the father has bestowed on us, John wrote, that we would be called the children of God. And such we are. Okay? 1 John 3, 1. If you have not been born again, you are not a child of God. You're a child of Adam. And that death that he suffered because of his disobedience when he left the presence of God was kicked out of the garden. Because that's what death is. That's the separation. separation from God. And remember it says in Isaiah, sin separates you from God. So you're either a child of Adam or a child of God. Okay? You have to be led by the Holy Spirit. It says Paul wrote to the Romans and he said in Romans 8.14, 
For all who are being led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. The Spirit of God will lead you into all truth, even the hard truth that you must die to yourself, deny yourself, and give up control of your life to the one you call Lord. If you're not being led by the Spirit of God, you're not a child of God, and you have no right to pray, Father. I'm so glad I'm a part of